Dear friends, welcome to a personalized episode of Enlight Me. Today, we will explore OpenAI's advancements towards AGI, Samsung's AI-driven Bixby upgrade, and Google's potential acquisition of Wiz. We will also discuss innovative startups tackling issues in various industries, from cybersecurity to affordable housing. OpenAI has outlined a five-level system to track its progress toward achieving artificial general intelligence, AGI. The levels range from current conversational AI to AI capable of performing organizational level tasks. OpenAI is reportedly close to the second level, Reasoners, where AI can solve basic problems akin to a human with a doctorate but without tools. The third level, Agents, involves AI performing actions for several days, while the fourth, Innovators, describes AI aiding in developing new inventions. A research project with GPT-4 indicated human-like reasoning skills. The system, developed by OpenAI executives, can be adjusted based on feedback from stakeholders. In May, OpenAI disbanded its Super Alignment team, integrating its work into other research efforts. Samsung will launch an upgraded Bixby voice assistant this year, using its own LLM and generative AI technology. TM Rowe, head of Samsung's mobile division, confirmed the upgrade, which follows the AI wave sparked by OpenAI's ChatGPT. Bixby, introduced in 2017 with the Galaxy S8, offers live translations, restaurant recommendations, and Bixby vision for scanning objects. Samsung will continue to allow multiple voice assistants, including Google's AI Assistant, on its devices. This announcement comes shortly after Apple's plan to upgrade Siri with OpenAI's ChatGPT. The Bixby enhancements align with Samsung's strategy to integrate more AI into its products, recently demonstrated by the launch of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Z Flip 6, alongside new AI tools aimed at promoting premium smartphone upgrades. At the World AI Conference in Shanghai, SenseTime introduced SenseNova 5.5, demonstrating its abilities to identify objects, critique drawings, and summarize text. Comparable to OpenAI's GPT-4, SenseNova 5.5 aims to attract users by offering 50 million free tokens and free migration services from OpenAI. OpenAI announced it will block users in China from accessing its tools starting July 9th. This decision, amid US-China tensions and semiconductor export restrictions, has created opportunities for Chinese AI companies like Baidu, Jipu AI, and Tencent Cloud, which are offering free tokens and services to capture OpenAI's users. The move may accelerate the development of Chinese AI firms, despite concerns about profit margins and innovation due to intense competition. OpenAI is developing advanced AI models under a secret project named Strawberry, aiming to enhance reasoning and deep research capabilities. Previously called Q, pronounced Q-star, demos showed these models answering complex science and math questions. Strawberry envisions AI autonomously scouring the internet to plan ahead for intricate tasks. While details on the project's progress and its potential link to a human-like reasoning system demonstrated at a recent all-hands meeting remain unclear, achieving deep research abilities would signify a significant advancement from current AI capabilities. Google is advancing its robots with Gemini AI for better navigation and task completion. The DeepMind team detailed how Gemini 1.5 Pro's long context window allows users to interact with RT2 robots via natural language. Researchers film a video tour of an area, enabling the robot to learn the environment by watching the video. The robot can then execute commands based on visual and verbal cues, such as locating a power outlet. With a 90% success rate across over 50 instructions in a 9,000-plus square foot area, Gemini 1.5 Pro also helps robots plan beyond navigation, like checking for available drinks in a fridge. 
However, processing each instruction takes 1030 seconds. Meta has optimized its tail utilization to significantly enhance its ads model serving capacity and reliability. Key improvements include a two-thirds reduction in timeout errors, a 35% increase in work output without extra resources, and a 50% reduction in P99 latency. Meta's inference platforms, which support machine learning models for ads, require substantial infrastructure across CPUs, GPUs, storage, and networking. By improving the utilization of the top 5% of servers, Meta has managed to operate more efficiently. Techniques used include tuning load balancing mechanisms and system level changes in model production. These optimizations have enabled Meta to absorb up to 35% more load with no additional capacity while maintaining service level agreements. Coming up, we're diving into the future of AI. AI investments are massive, yet returns are minimal, often yielding trivial applications like poorly written essays. Goldman Sachs's Jim Cavello notes that AI must solve complex problems to justify its costs, but so far it hasn't. Enterprise use cases are limited, and even promising areas like software development only benefit a subset of experienced developers. Cavello emphasizes that replacing low-wage jobs with expensive AI tech contradicts past tech transitions, and the costs of AI infrastructure are unlikely to drop quickly. MIT's Darren Ace Moglu predicts limited cost-effective AI automation in the near term. Despite this, AI advocates like Goldman Sachs's Joseph Briggs and J.P. Morgan Chase's Lori Beer believe in AI's long-term potential stressing the importance of foundational investments in data modernization. Enterprises should experiment with AI to uncover cost-effective applications, despite current challenges. And now, pivot our discussion towards startup stories. Google is in advanced talks to acquire cybersecurity firm Wiz for $23 billion. Founded in 2020 and led by CEO Asaf Rappaport, Wiz has rapidly grown. Wiz provides cloud security solutions that offer executives and cybersecurity professionals comprehensive insights into a company's cloud presence, a valuable asset for large firms with extensive computing resources. The firm is backed by notable investors, including CyberStarts, Index Ventures, Insight Partners, and Sequoia Capital. If the deal goes through, it would mark Google's largest ever acquisition, reinforcing its commitment to cybersecurity amid increasing threats from nation-state and criminal actors. This move follows Google's previous $5.4 billion acquisition of Mandiant two years ago. However, Google's acquisition practices are currently under intense antitrust scrutiny from the Justice Department, which has sued the company twice. Despite this, Google's interest in Wiz indicates a continued appetite for strategic mergers and acquisitions. Presti, a French startup founded in November 2022, is revolutionizing the way furniture brands create product visuals using generative AI. Instead of spending large sums on cumbersome photo shoots, Presti allows companies to turn a single product image into a realistic lifestyle photo with its advanced AI technology. This innovation addresses the significant pain points in the furniture industry, such as high logistics costs and time-consuming processes associated with traditional photo shoots. Using a retrained version of Stable Diffusion XL, Presti's AI ensures high quality accurate product images by leveraging a dataset of over 75,000 ultra-high quality furniture photos. The AI has been fine-tuned to avoid common issues like distorted perspectives and added elements that don't belong. Presti also offers customization features, enabling users to add accessories like cushions that integrate seamlessly into the image, including realistic shadows. The startup is working on allowing users to swap materials and colors for different product variations. 
Adaptive, a startup co-founded by Matthew Calvano, Henry Bradlow, and Francisco Enriquez in 2021, addresses the slow payments problem plaguing the construction industry. Construction companies face delays of two to three months on average to receive payments, contributing to a staggering $273 billion in slow payments in 2023. Identifying back office inefficiencies as the root cause, Adaptive offers a platform designed to streamline payments and accounting for general contractors. Adaptive's platform automates various financial management tasks, including budgeting, expense tracking, accounts payable, and electronic payments. Users can upload documents in formats like SMS and PDF and employ automation to handle approvals and budgeting. This significantly reduces manual labor and reliance on email, Excel, and outdated project management software. With over 280 construction companies as clients, Adaptive plans to expand its focus to subcontractors and explore monetizing integrated payments, insurance, and payroll functions. The company is also set to grow its workforce from 29 to 45 by the year's end. Lupa is tackling the global affordable housing crisis by focusing on emerging markets with high demand, particularly the Philippines, which has an unmet need of around 6.5 million units for low-income earners. Founded in 2018 by Mark Olivier Cayo and Sabrina Tan, the Singaporean headquartered startup uses technology and decentralized operations to identify, renovate, and build affordable homes. By partnering with local brokers and contractors, Lupa sidesteps the high operating costs that traditional developers avoid. The company's tech platform employs machine learning and AI to analyze market trends and identify undervalued properties. These properties are then managed by local agents who handle sales, loan applications, and documentation, while contractors manage renovations and construction. This decentralized model is facilitated through dedicated apps that allow for real-time updates and coordination. Lupa's approach is unique in that it does not engage directly with end customers, but empowers local professionals to handle transactions. This model has enabled Lupa to sell over 2,500 affordable houses in more than 58 cities in the Philippines. Lupa aims to expand further within the Philippines and into other Southeast Asian countries, aiming to provide over 15,000 affordable homes in the next three years. Join us as we explore the future of Hero Software, founded in Hanover in 2020 by Dr. Michael Kessler and Philip Lidding, starting with a mission to combat climate change. Initially, they aimed to reduce carbon dioxide emissions by facilitating the installation of solar cells and heat pumps. They quickly discovered that tradespeople were the bottleneck in this process, leading them to develop a comprehensive platform to streamline the workflow for various trades, including plumbing, carpentry, and electrical services. The platform now supports 20,000 users in the DASH region, Germany, Austria, Switzerland, by handling everything from customer contact and project planning to on-site execution and invoicing. Hero Software's unique value lies in its all-in-one approach, making it indispensable for small and medium-sized trade businesses. Hero Software's comprehensive product and experienced team position it as a standout in the growing vertical SaaS market in Europe. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of Innovation Pulse. If you enjoyed our insights and are eager to learn more, the Enlight Me app is just a tap away. Expand your knowledge with personalized content on over 20 diverse topics, from crypto to health and beyond, all curated to fit your interests. Download the Enlight Me app now at the Apple Store or Google Play, or visit the enlightme.ai website. Stay curious, stay enlightened, 